back guys so it's Sheffield Wednesday away tomorrow I am going to the game and of course vlogging it as always I can see it being an easy game to be honest I don't want to jinx anything if Burton went there won 3-0 they're in really bad form right now they've won two games in 11 and their last game was a 1-1 draw against Barnsley Barnsley are I think they're either just in the relegation zone 22nd or, or 21st just out of it Sheffield Wednesday are around 16th 18th in the league around that position it's been a very poor season for them I think they're all expected to put, be pushing automatics this season or at least definitely getting playoffs and they haven't they've, they've definitely had a bad season last season that they got playoffs and the year before they got fired said playoffs uh, final I sat their manager a few weeks ago or months ago uh, Carlos Carvajal so they're not in the great mood the fans are all getting on their backs booing them and stuff giving them abuse so I can see he's winning 2 or 3 nil on this game. Their player to watch out, we need to watch out, is Gary Hooper. Gary Hooper's scored 11 goals and 3 assists this season. He's scored a goal every 184 minutes, which is obviously quite good. It's decent for a team that has 16th around that position and aren't doing well. That's, that's, quite, that's quite good, to be fair. It's a sold-out crowd. I think about 2,050 uh, Derby fans are going. So, that, so it'll be a good atmosphere. It'll be a good day out. My predicted lineup for the game is in goal, Scott Carson. Right back, Andre Wisdom. Centre back, uh, right centre back, Richard Keogh, left centre back, Curtis Davis, left back, I think he'll play Forsyth, swap holes, he'll swap Forsyth and put him in, uh, swap, sorry, swap holes in and put Forsyth in. I think in the midfield he's going to keep Tom Alderson, has been playing really well recently, and I think he'll swap, drop George Fawn, as he hasn't been at the races to be honest, and ever since he's had that double leg break, ever since he's come back, he's not, he's not looked at it to be honest, and he's not been great. So I think Joe Ledley will come in for him after, he, after he's now fit, after a back injury. I think left wing it will be Tom Lawrence. I think he'll stay the same way, as where he is, where he was last game against the Norwich City. Right wing, I think he's going to play Andy Ryman. I think he's going to drop Ketchanya. I think he's going to rest and maybe put him on for the legs later on in the game and for the pace. And I think up front he's going to take out Cameron Drone and I think he's going to play David Nugent as he has been out, out of the squad recently quite a lot. So hopefully he can get scored again as he has had a bit of a drought and not scored. As much as he was, as he would, probably would have liked to, or most other fans expected. However, he has been still been quite good. I think in Cam it will be Mate Vidra, of course. He scored 18 goals this season, I think. 17 in the league, or maybe 18 in the league. He's a two, two ahead of the uh, second top goal scorer, Leon Clark. And then the third is, I think, Valentini from Wolves, who's got 12. Leon Clark's got 16. I've been doing, I did a match preview for Norwich as well, so if you want to check that out, it, uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video, so just click that link. To, uh, to, so, which will take you straight to the video. If you did enjoy the uh, match previews that I've started to do, please leave a like to let me know. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow.